All right, so how's it going, guys? Uh, I have the most absurd dream sometimes. My friends always tell me this. I Like, you just can't make this stuff up. It happens in my dreams. So I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to try and keep you updated on some of the dreams I have. But I had this one the other night, right? It was real bizarre. I was out camping with a bunch of buddies, right? You know, my girlfriend was there. Uh, I can't really remember the rest of people there. There's a big group of people, though, right? We're out somewhere, you know, I don't know, British Columbia, kind of BC, you know, beautiful weather kind of thing, right? But, uh, it's, I don't know, about 6 o'clock in the evening, we're all drinking beers and whatnot, the beers are running out, right? I'm getting a little bit razzed, I'm like, okay guys, we gotta make a beer run or something, we're about a half hour away from town. They're all getting pissed off, they're like, no, 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 we're going to bed soon, right? So, you know, naturally, I'm a little pissed off, but everyone kind of, you know, they go to bed, and uh, I'm like, whatever, my girlfriend's, you know, nagging at me, she was really in the mood. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I go to take a piss, and uh, as I go to take a piss, I'm going to walk into the trees, but all of a sudden, I'm no longer in the woods. I'm walking into, like, a communal shower. Uh, I don't know how that happens, right? Whatever. I, I, you know, I take my piss in the shower, and I get out. As I'm leaving, I bump into a 70-year-old woman who has the craziest eyes. She's got this one lazy eye tripping me out the whole time she's looking at me. And, uh, you know, I apologize to her, and she gets really upset. She thinks I've been cursing at her the whole time, and this is what I say to her. I say, I am so sorry, Mrs. McAmey. I don't even know who Mrs. McAmey is. Like, <laughs> who is Mrs. McAmey? But I apologize to her. I am so distraught by this because <laughs> she is just losing it at me. And I just didn't even know what to do. So I kept walking. I hop into the tent with my girlfriend. I tell her what happened. Like, you know, I don't even know what to do with myself. She just, you know, wants to, you know, get it on, right? But uh, I still have to take a piss. So I step out of the tent. This time I walk out, and now I'm in someone's basement. I walk into the bathroom, which had uh, saloon-style doors. They open up like a saloon from an old Western movie. I step in there, and I could not take a piss for my life. It's probably a good thing, because I probably would have pissed myself in my sleep if I did. So I decide to sit down in the toilet, and uh, you, know what, you know what I end up doing? I drop a huge deuce, right? <laughs> and uh, of course, you know, as when that happens, the toilet gets clogged. So, you know... I'm sort of freaking out. I'm like, who the hell's bathroom is this, right? Boom. I'm no longer in a bathroom. I'm in a warehouse, and this toilet is just chilling in the corner of the warehouse underneath, you know, three-story high shelving, right? And uh, this Italian man comes up, and he's like, this is my toilet. Like, you know, we need to unclog it. I look down. <laughs> Here's where it gets even more bizarre. I don't even have, like, there's, there's no fecal matter in this toilet anymore. This toilet is massive. And it's got, like, pieces of a couch in there, cardboard boxes, <laughs> like, random pieces of wood. And me and this man are just pulling stuff in and out of the toilet, trying to get it unclogged. Like, it's massive. And I guess he had him and his daughters living in there, like, three stories up on the top of the shelf. He's got his three daughters. They're nestled away in bunk beds. Like, one of them was Victoria Justice from uh, Zoe 101, if you ever seen that show. Like, you know, weird, I know, right? But eventually, we get this toilet unclogged, and this Italian man is so happy, he, like, you know, his daughter comes up, she gives me a hug, he gives me a hug, he starts touching my chest, which is really weird, so I got the hell out of there, right? And I'm like, oh, my girlfriend's waiting for me, right? So I step out, boom, all of a sudden, I'm just looking out this window into an old lake from my childhood, and there's just a huge hurricane going on, there's a guy that I know from my work there, and I start talking to him, and I'm looking out at the hurricane, and I look upwards, and there's an old clubhouse where everyone used to go and have dinner and stuff there. By the way, it's been, con been converted to a casino now. And I'm like, what the hell is going on with the casino, right? And he starts telling me, he's like, yeah, they released this new iPhone app. And they're going to make money off it with the casino. And I look at him and I'm like, what's this iPhone app? And he starts showing me. It's like a peer-to-peer -peer service for an iPhone, you know, like LimeWire. And I'm like, what does this have to do with anything? Then I woke up. Like, what is that, right? It's, it's crazy. But, uh, yeah, if anyone has, like, you know any kind of comments or thoughts as to what that means, you know, feel free to comment on the video. Uh, I'll hit you guys up with my other dreams as they come, right? Peace out.